I had so many years of just who I knew my children to be. One day, about two and a half years ago, she woke up with double vision. And it was a panic station, straight to Tesco's Vision Express. They'd done one simple test, sent us straight to Moorfield. And yeah, five days later, we got delivered the news that Lauren had multiple sclerosis, which was a massive, massive shock. It's really mad because I can remember being in the consulting room and Lauren just laughed about it and I had to excuse myself from the room. My whole world just got blown apart. This place has been, I don't know, my sanity, I guess. It's another part of my personality that for so long has been contained because within my confinements of what's going on in my home life, I feel guilty if I go out and have fun. I feel guilty if I go out to dinner. Or I, I, I just feel bad because Lauren's life, you know, isn't that simple for her. From the moment she was diagnosed, all the focus was on Lauren, and rightly so. I felt so connected to my daughter because this terrible thing had happened, but yet at the same time so isolated because there was nobody at any point that kind of said, Mum, do you know what? Come in 15 minutes early from Lauren's next appointment, we'll just have a little chat. It's almost like, there you go, there it is, bye. At no point did anybody focus on me. Not, and that sounds really awful when you sound it like that. But I just felt that, I, again, I was up against a brick wall. Yes, it's all about Lauren because she's the one with the condition, but if I'm the person that's loving her and supporting her and helping her through this, hey, I might need some guidance. I want to do the best all the time, but, you know, I feel horrible for saying it, but it is very, very draining. It's completely changed my life. 99.9% .9 of the time it's everything I want to do because they're my, ch my children and yes yeah, my job but there's you know that percentage of time that you feel guilty because actually you want a life and that's where kind of deja come in I guess that two hours that I have on a Saturday it's my time and it kind of makes the rest of what my life is filled with much easier to deal with which is really important if you're if you've got something like that in your life that takes up a lot of your time it's important to not lose yourself i believe that